Blue red. It's Tyler, same camp. How are you feel? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, obviously, last camp, first camp in a while. Um, really enjoyed it. Um, back into the mix of things, and yeah, we're just looking forward, really. What's the message been so far from the team, like the manager and the assistants and stuff, in terms of going into these games? Because as we know, like Albania are not probably the sort of teams that we're used to facing over the last couple of months and year. I think the Nations League is huge for us, for as a nation. Like, um, it's linked directly to the Euro qualifiers, so it's so important that we pick up points in every game. Um, as it will lead into qualification for the Euros as well, and that's our ultimate aim, really. Like, and were you happy when you heard that Eileen and her team were going to stay on for another camp? Yeah, obviously I was delighted. Um, we had a great few results last camp, and um, the atmosphere is really good in camp. So yeah, as I say, we're just looking to keep going and keep the momentum pushing. What was it like going into the last camp and then going back to your club? Like, did it give you a bit of a lift or a bit of positivity yes, for the season? I think. Um, Obviously, every international camp is a time to take a take a break as such from your season, like um, recharge, work on things as a club, um, and then obviously you go back with loads of confidence after playing for your country and such. Yeah, no, nothing. Um, in terms of the the last the last window, like there was the, the two games, one after another, and like they both went pretty smoothly, um, and. Like you said, the Albania games, maybe not what we've been used to, but with the flavour you got of it last month, how's the mood in the camp with how it's gone so far? Yeah, I think the mood's good. Um, I think we have to respect every team, no matter um, who they are, really. Anyone can win or lose on the day. Um, and as I say, like it's really important to keep picking up the three points and keep advancing in the Nations League for the Euros next year. And the highlight of the last window is obviously the day in the Vivo when so, we had so many fans there back in Tallinn now for Friday's game. How's the feeling in the camp for returning there? Like a lot of people have spoken about how special Tallinn is, but is there like are you happy to be back there with a the sold out crowd? Yeah, I think um, the Viva was incredible. Like um, with thirty five thousand people, it just shows how much the game's growing. Um, but we've had a few special nights in Tala and for Tala to be sold out within a few days of the tickets going on sale, I think it's incredible. Um, and we're really looking forward to getting back to Tala. And six points from six so far, I assume the goal is 12 from 12 after this window. Yeah, I think, as I say, we're just focusing on keeping the momentum going and picking up as many points as we can and keep pushing, yeah. But he was already coming. Back at Bert, I'm to edit. Jeez, the pressure's on me now. <laughs> um, and then how have you found, obviously, being back in and mixing in with everyone again? Because, obviously, the last time out would have been your first time in a while and uh -huh. you're kind of getting back into the swing of now, it's it. I think it's nervous every time you come into camp. Um, the competition for your spot is massive. I think it's bigger now than it ever has been. Um, but yeah, the atmosphere is really good in camp. The, the girls, it's a good group of girls like, so yeah, I'm enjoying it. And then what would you kind of like Ireland's style to become, would you say, over the next while? I think we're developing a lot um, as a nation to play good football. Um, and I think you can see that from our last few games. That's what we're trying to do, get on the ball, play attacking style football. Um, and I think it's just a process, we keep building as a team and yeah, keep pushing. Is that your call out then to the next manager of whoever do I think? I think as I say, like um, we're always evolving as a nation um, and yeah, we have a incredible talent within the team. Um, so it's just plenty of our, our strengths really and yeah, just keep pushing forward. There is some concern going into this Nations League campaign in terms of like the level of opposition that we were facing in that would it put the team backwards in the progress that they've made but it seems to be from what you're saying that instead it's almost given you a bit of freedom to try new things and develop the skills of the team without maybe the added pressure of knowing that with the, I suppose with the pressure of saying, well, we also can win these games. Uh -huh. Oh, we can win these games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I say, I think we have to give respect to any team, no matter how good on paper or how poor they're, they are. Um, it's about us as a team, um, about building us as a team, playing to our strengths and, yeah, just developing as a nation and seeing what we can achieve together. So, Tyler, it must be mad for you to be, like, kind of away from the team for so long and then to come in and play that game then in the mm -hmm. that must have been so special for you it might have been worth the wait yeah yeah I think it sums up football to be fair um, you never know what's going to happen within football um, but no, it was an incredible day for both me and my family um, yeah it was just the perfect day to come back in and obviously play against Northern Ireland and Aviva with such a big crowd um, home fans so yeah it was really really good and just in terms of like, you've come in like, you've never been away 
you've been absolutely flying is that down to the girls yeah I think um, obviously the majority of the girls I was in camp with before um, yeah I think everyone's just been really welcoming um, and ultimately we all have the same goal um, to push on within this league so just work together really and yeah keep going were you around in the camp then for a while? Do you kind of keep in touch with everybody? Or how does that kind of work? Yeah, of course. Um, so obviously we play each other in the league. Um, so it's not as if I've never, like I yeah, haven't yeah. seen them, do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I think I've just slotted back in as if I've never been away really. So now I'm feeling good and looking forward to the next few games. In terms of the, the world when you were saying of like just kind of the, the kind of nature of football that you got like thrown straight in deep and like you're only playing yesterday with uh, Blackburn and like a lot of players that can't coming in straight off back games yesterday. Like, how difficult is it for you to transition straight back into Ireland mode having been at club level now? As I say, I think that's just football and that's our job really, so that's what we're used to. Um, obviously when the final whistle went yesterday, our focus goes straight to Irish football now um, and our games against Albania next week. And last question, just for me, on the, the Nations League and the kind of the impact on the squad, like Eileen has kind of spoken about how important building momentum through this campaign is for like future hope of qualifying for uh -huh. once again. Like, is there an is there kind of a collective understanding in the squad of how important it is to build and that maybe the end goal isn't necessarily this, it's further down the line? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think, as I said before, the Nations League is linked directly with um, the Euros. So it is massively important to kind of nail down our marker and keep getting them wins um, to push us on forward for years to come. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you very much.